Welcome to Chopstick Travel, I'm Luke Martin and today we have another episode from Vancouver, Canada. This time we're going to be exploring some of the Japanese cuisine here in Vancouver with a little bit of a Canadian twist on it. We're going to be visiting the famous Japa Dog and trying out a couple of their flavors. It's going to be a great episode so make sure you stay tuned until the end. Let's go eat some Japanese food. So this is Japa Dog. It's a Vancouver institution. The story goes that there was a Japanese man who moved here and he wanted to start a street food cart, but they only let you sell hot dogs here. So we put a little bit of a twist on it. They have a super funky menu with all these interesting Japanese style hot dogs. We're gonna order up a couple different things from their menu. It's really famous, so I'm excited to try it out and see how they are. Thank you. First off today at Japa Dog, we've got their Yaki Soba Japa Dog. So that's fried noodles. I know this is kind of a thing in Japan because I have seen Yaki Soba sandwiches. There's also a little bit of pickled red ginger on top and then you can see that wiener. Mm. Mm. It's definitely a bit of a mess to eat but the sauce that those yakisoba have been fried in gives it really nice flavor. And then also the hot dog, you can tell, isn't just a, a simple hot dog. There's definitely a special spice going on in there because it's got a unique kind of sweet flavor to it. And the bun is also really soft on the outside. I'm gonna try again to get a little bit more of that yakisoba. I can see how this wouldn't seem normal to just about anybody and the reason being is because there's nothing normal about it but it is tasty. You gotta try it out if you come to Vancouver. Let's dig into the other Japa Dogs. I'm gonna try their number one Japa Dog which is the Terry Mayo. So it's made up of teriyaki sauce, mayo, fried cabbage and of course a bunch of nori just spread it on top which is seaweed. So it's all shredded up. It's inviting me to take a big bite. This is gonna be good but weird. Wow. So aside from the hot dog that's inside, which is really juicy and tasty, there are a ton of different textures. You have a bunch of crunch from this fried cabbage, as well as the nori, and then it's very creamy with all those sauces in there, that teriyaki sauce and the mayo. And then the bun, super fluffy and fresh. Overall, really tasty. It's making my mouth water as I talk about it, but uh, yeah, really delicious. Love all those flavors together. And then the aftertaste is only seaweed. It's only nori at the end. Really like that. Tastes pretty Japanese. Mm. I like this a lot. Another popular item on their menu here at Japa Dog is their shaked fries. So she actually puts them in with whatever you order. We ordered sashimi, which is a Japanese spice and garlic, and then gives them a nice shake. And then you can see that they get completely coated with all of that sashimi and garlic in our case, but they have lots of different flavors. Let's give these a try. Mm. They're a little bit soggy, but I like the flavoring. It's got a hint of citrus, but it's also got a little bit of kick from the spice. And then the garlic, of course, too, but not over overly powerful. They are a little bit soggy, though. So last but not least is their second most popular Japa dog, which is the Okonomi. So this is almost the exact same as the Terry Mayo, but instead of nori on top, we have a bunch of bonito flakes. There is a lot. And then of course, fried cabbage, mayo, and teriyaki sauce. So let's give it a bite. This one's gonna be a lot more fishy. Ooh. Oh yeah, very, very strong. Bonito. If 
if you are a Bonito lover, you are going to absolutely adore this kind. It is so smoky and fishy on top. It almost dominates the entire Japa dog, but I'm not complaining. Bonito's really good. Definitely tastes authentic and fresh. Have another bite. But what does an authentic Japa dog really taste like? Well, it's this. <laughs> I still think I'm gonna be a mustard and ketchup type of guy, but you should definitely try this out when you come to Vancouver. Yeah. Some really interesting flavors. I can't say they're really Japanese, but the ingredients are Japanese and it gives definitely a spin on the traditional wiener. What do you think? You like it? I like these wieners. What's the best wiener? <laughs> I would have to say the Terry Mayo. They're number one. I, I like that one the most. Definitely check out Java Dog when you're in Vancouver. Cool story and interesting flavors. We're going to go back to the hotel because there's something really cool I want to show you. Okay, just got home and this just came in the mail. I'm super excited to show you this. This is called Boksu. Boksu is a specially curated box of premium Japanese snacks and candies. And with your subscription to Boksu, you're going to get a delicious box of Japanese goodies delivered right to your door every single month. Your first box is always the seasons of Japan. After that, you get a fun cultural theme every month. And the snacks and the candies inside come from traditional Japanese snack makers from all across Japan. And the accompanying pamphlet will explain a little bit about each snack. So let's try some of these snacks out. So the first season that we're gonna be trying today is spring, and this is called the White Strawberry. This is a Boksu exclusive. You cannot get this anywhere else, and it's the world's first chocolate-infused strawberry. Okay, let's open this up. Oh, Whoa. wow. <laughs> so this has actually been freeze dried yeah. and infused with chocolate. Wow. Let's try it. Oh my God, that smells <laughs> so good. Cheers. Cheers. Whoa. The texture is like a Hershey's milk chocolate kiss, but the flavor is like a freshly picked strawberry. The next season that we have is summer, and this is a handmade yuzu sake candy. So it has yuzu juice, peel and sake, just a little bit inside. Okay, let's open this one up. I think that I'm most excited to try this one out. Oh, they're just little hard candies. Yeah, cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Whoa. Yum. Wow. I love that. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of peel right along the exterior, so it gives it a nice little texture, but that is a really citrusy zing as soon as it hits at your tongue. And you can still taste the sake in there as well. Mm -hmm. It's like an artisanal Jolly Rancher. <laughs> The next season is winter, and these are red bean donuts that come from Hokkaido, so red beans stuffed inside. So I know the Japanese love red beans, and these honestly look like little Timbits. <laughs> wow, it looks like it's juicy. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. These yeah. are dense. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, these are extremely dense and quite oily on the outside, but very light and sweet on the inside. I don't know how they keep them so fresh tasting. <laughs> it literally tastes like they're baked today. Mm. So our last season, which is the one I'm definitely most excited for, is fall, and these are uni rice crackers. So uni is sea urchin, and these supposedly taste like uni and look like uni as well. So let's try it out. I love the packaging. That's one of my favorite things about Boxu is all these cool little packages. Let's take a look at these guys. Oh, oh interesting. It's like a little rice crispy. <laughs> Doesn't really smell like uni. No, cheers. Mm. Mm. A little bit. Very faint. Mm. So they do use real sea urchin inside of this. You can get a faint hint, but it's just kind of like a rice cracker. Yeah, it is. But the, the uni comes from like the aftertaste, which you'll see with real uni is the same thing. Oh, I need to have a Sapporo beer with this. <laughs> 
Wow, Boxu is so cool. It really is. That was so unique and really authentic flavors of Japan. We always miss Japan whenever we're not there and especially lately because mm -hmm. of COVID-19, we can't travel there. So Boxu is the perfect thing to actually bring the flavors of Japan right to your doorstep. And you can get a single box or a monthly subscription. Yep. And Chopstick Travel viewers are going to get 10% off by clicking the link down in the description box and it comes with free shipping. <laughs> yes, it does. You gotta try this out. So cool. Yeah, really I love that. Ready to destroy <laughs> yeah, let's eat the, the rest. rest of these. <laughs> Finish the song. No, I'm so sad. <laughs> I thought it was gonna continue. <laughs> so this is Gas Town. It's kind of the center of the tourist area here in Vancouver, and the highlight is the steam clock. So it's this functioning old clock, and you can see the inner workings, the mechanism, and actually you can feel some of the steam coming out of the bottom. That was amazing. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that because we just waited around a whole extra 15 minutes just to capture it one more time. Oh yeah. So that was Gastown, a nice little place to walk around here in downtown Vancouver. Make sure you don't stray too far from the path because it can get a little sketchy if you go to the wrong area here in Vancouver. But we're gonna avoid sitting in a restaurant. We're gonna head back to the house, order up some takeout, and have some Canadian style Japanese sushi. Time to order some sushi on Uber Eats. We ordered last time. Okay, like this one? No. No? Spicy tuna roll? No avocado. That's right. No avocado. Why is that? Because this gal's allergic. We need a mango roll, right? Mango roll with cream cheese. Mango with cream cheese. Where are you? All right, mango roll. Add one. Avocado? There's no avocado on this I one. I know, I'm just making sure. <laughs> and then one more, one more, right? Crunch roll. Crunch roll. Crunch roll. Done. Done. One tuna roll, spicy tuna roll, one crunch roll, one mango roll. Look at that. So we're eating in then. So we're eating in. The safest way to do it. Eating in with takeout. Eating in with takeout. <laughs> Join me for a cup of sushi. Cappuccino. Cappuccino. <laughs> what do you want to watch? 90 Day Fiance. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye bye. So, we're going to have our sushi with some Granville Island Northwest Pale Ale. And this is seriously cheap, only $19.58. That sounds expensive, but for Vancouver, that's super cheap. And this is some classic Canadian West Coast style sushi. Let me open it up here. And we've got three different kinds. There you go, wow. So we've got the spicy, 
tuna crunch roll, which is fried panko flakes on top. And then we've got the spicy tuna with a little bit of cucumber. And then we've got the mango roll, which is cucumber cream cheese and topped with mango. And this is really classic sushi that you can have here in Vancouver and very cheap, so let's dig in. So you can see what is unique about this style of sushi is that the rice is actually on the outside. There's a little bit of seaweed that's on the inside that contains all of the fillings. And I'm gonna start with the crunch roll with spicy tuna. There's even some little uh, pea sprouts on top. Perfect little one biter. Now this is definitely nothing fancy and I do prefer the Edomai classic Japanese nigiri, but these are perfect little one biters and they go so well with the beer. Mm. All right, let's try the spicy tuna and a little dip in soy sauce. So I would say that one was just all right, but what's interesting is that chili sauce that's in it that's making it so spicy. It's really dry and smoky, but yeah, overall just okay. But I think this mango one with the cheese inside is gonna be really interesting. So let's just give that a try right now. Yeah, that is interesting to say the least. That is a really interesting combination of sweet and savory. There's like a mango drizzle on top, as well as a few mango pieces inside, which I think are frozen. Uh, but that cream cheese is so savory and soft. It's a really nice combo. Here to try one. What do you think? Mm. It's like dessert sushi. Yeah. Mmm. Overall. I like the cream cheese. Pretty good, right? Oh yeah. West yeah, Coast style sushi. What was the best one? Mango, for sure. Yeah, I like mango. that mango cream <laughs> But cheese. I like the crunch roll. Definitely cheap, but not filling. I'm not full, but <laughs> luckily, we still have some treats in our box too. Let me open this up on my shoulder like this. We've already gotten into them. There's barely anything left, really. Um, I don't know, all of it. <laughs> so thank you to Boxu for sponsoring this video. And uh, let us know down in the comment box what Jap Dog flavor you thought looked the best and which sushi flavor you thought looked the best. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll see you on the next episode of Chapstick Travel. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.